good morning everyone welcome back to my channel today we're going to talk about fake friend what a blessing it is from God to have good friend but from elementary school to college we have all had fake friend I would like to start off by saying even though our best friend can make mistake remember no one is perfect the difference between a good friend who happened to do something you did not like or a fake friend is that a good friend does not keep on doing bad things to you well you can talk to the person and tell them anything they would heal you they would heal your word because they love you a fake friend does not care how you feel continuously putting you down even after you have talked to them they are usually haters I'm telling you from my personal experience many fake people does not understand that they are fakes the personality is just being unauthentic they think that they are real they believe that they are true friend sometimes they love to gossip making false accusation one thing I want you guys to understand a true friend are always there for you a fake friend only appear when they need something from you for example a lot of people making money in social media you have friends all over the world. Everybody love you. Even people that used to bully you want to be your friend. Sometimes you hear the statement. Um, he used to bully me. But now I'm, he want to be my friend. Because I'm cool. Stay away from people that actually bring dangers into your life. Fake friends are like shadow. They're always near at the brightest moment but nowhere to be seen at your darkest hours true friend are like stars you don't always see them but they always there it's just like a relationship fake girlfriend only needs you when you have a paycheck when it's payday but when you don't have money, but you never see them. That's like you should that should tell you a lot about people. Time alone can prove the worth of a relationship. As time goes by, we lose false friend and keep the best one. True friends say true friends say when true friends stay when all the rest are gone true friend will always find a way to help you fake friend will always find an excuse guys I'm gonna teach you how to spot a fake friend it's very easy there are two faces they smile and laugh with you but then they slander you behind your back. A fake friend, they always want to know your information and in secret so they can gossip to others about you. How you can also spot a fake friend? They always gossip about their other friend. Anyone that gossip about their other friend, they would gossip about you. If you see a man putting his girlfriend or his wife down, there's nothing good about him. He is fake inside and out. Fake friend, when you are alone with them, there is never a problem. But when others are around, they're constantly trying to make you look bad in front of your other friend. They always try to belittle you, your talent, your accomplishment. They always make fun of you. They purposely 
um, give you bad advice so you don't succeed or suppress them in something or anything. When they are around others, they act like they don't know you. Just like sometime in a relationship, a man will come to your house, sleep with you. But when he's around his friend, he act like he doesn't know you. Like you are nobody to him. When you make a mistake, they always gloat. That's not a friend. Anytime someone gloat at your mistake, know that they are not your friend. They use you for what they have for what you have and what they know. They always try to take advantage of you. Don't allow people to take advantage of you. They are never there when you need them the most. In your time of need and when you are going through a bad thing, they run. I remember someone had called me one time asking me for help all the time. I'm always there to help them. One time I said, let me ask them for help. Oh, they're busy. And then when I see them, I start, you know, I stop communicating with them. And then he's like, oh, we still friends? I said, no, we're not. We're not friends. Oh, because you help me doesn't mean I have to help you. I ignore him. Because that's how you know. They was never your friend. When people need you, they tell you everything that you need to hear. When, when they don't need you, they throw you away like garbage. Because that's what you are to them. Fake people never build you up or make you a better person. But they always bring you down. They close their mouth at the wrong time. They let you go down the wrong path. And allow you to make mistake they are critical they always see the bad they never see the good in you they are manipulative the Bible says that you will know them by the fruit Matthew 7 verse 16 say you can identify them by the fruit that is by the way they act do not ignore people that way they act with you. At work, at home, or anywhere that it could be a boyfriend, it could be a friend, or a colleague at work. See how they treat you, if they are fake or real. Do not ignore the sign, people. Proverb 20 verse 11 also say, let me see. Even small children are known by the action. So is their conduct really pure or upright? You know people by the action, they way they act. Even if somebody say, oh, I'm sorry. Sometimes they're not. Sometimes they are. Sometimes they're sincere. You will know who's sincere about what they are saying. People don't just make things happen. People don't just do certain things. They know exactly what they're doing. Just like when people say, oh, 10 year old killed somebody. Oh, she didn't know. She's so small. Her parents didn't raise her right. She's 10. She knows from right from wrong. Their words does not cooperate with their heart. They love to flatter. They give fake smile. And many times, they compliment you and insult you at the same time. Don't you ever met people like that in your life? Psalm 55, 21 say, His word are like smooth. His word are as smooth as butter. But, and his heart is war. These are fake people. Just like fake pastors. Some people may cover their hate with um, pleasant words, but they are deceiving you. They pretend to be kind, but they don't believe them. And please don't believe them. Some, you know, pretend to be kind. Their hearts are full of evil. 
Sometimes you meet people, they are telling you everything. They act like they are kind, they're sweet. Let me tell you, they will scam you, steal from you, deceive you. I, I, a matter of a second. They will speak friendly words to you while they are planning evil in their heart for you. And don't forget, they are backstabbers too. Trust me. You know, Jesus has says, I forgot, but Psalm 41 verse 9 says, Even my close friend, someone, someone I trust, one who share my bread, has turned against me. You remember Judah betrayed Jesus, the son of God, with a kiss. When they act like they want to know everything, about you not because they care but so they can gossip about you they will visit you as if they were your friend but all the you know all the while they were gathering gossip when they leave your house or your present they spread it everywhere they'll tell people exactly what you say even make up words about you People just remember, gossip betray a confidence, so avoid anyone who talk too much. Be aware of a friend. Do not trust anyone in your clan, for every one of them is a deceiver, and every friend is a slender. Don't be fooled. Bad company ruin good character. Come back to your right sense and stop your sinful way. I declare to your shame that some of you do not know God. Proverb 12 verse 26 says that uh, a righteous choose their friend carefully, but the way of the wicked, you know, lead them, you know, stray. That's what the wicked will do to you people. The Bible says that if your right eyes cause you to sin, tear it out and throw it away. It is better for you to lose a part of your body than to have all of you torn into hell. And if your right hand leads you to sin, cut it off and throw it away. It is better for you to lose part of your body than to have all of it into hell. Proverb 23 verse 6 says, do not eat, you know, you know, do not eat with stingy people. Don't desire their delicacy. Stingy people, let me tell you something. Some people are stingy, stingy by nature. Some people are stingy because they want to use you. Stingy people never have anything for you. They are fake. They always come, ask you for money. They never have to give to you. Once they have it, they don't tell you about it. They don't want to share with you. They are like hawk, snake, that want to chop your head off or suck you in and never let you out. What I'm trying to say, people, stay away from bad influence. Stay away from people that will never, ever bring good into your life. Stay away from people that just want to take and take, never have nothing to give to you. Even though the Bible says when you do for others, you should never ask for anything in return. That is true. But some people are users. They just want to use you. They could be your friend. They could be your boyfriend. They could be your sugar daddy. They could be your sugar mama. They act like they care for you. In reality, 
they could care less about you. All they care about, number one thing in life, it's money. It's not about you. You mean nothing to them. Sometimes it's better for you to be alone. It's better for you not to have friends than to have a bunch of fake friends. People with millions of dollars, children that grew up in money, everyone is their friend. Everyone act like they care for them. Inside, they hate them. They will take their life in an instant. You have to be careful who you bring around your children, who you bring around you. Not every relationship is a good relationship for you. Not every boyfriend is a good boyfriend. Don't have babies with someone because they show you fake love. Everybody can show you fake love. I could show you fake love, but I choose not to. Just like sometimes, you know, people think like, I treat people right. They treat me wrong. I could have treated you wrong, but I choose not to. Because I wanted to be real with you. Don't ever think, even your sister, your brother, your cousin, they're around. Don't think they're happy for you. If you're making it, don't think these people cares about you. You should see the machete, the machete that they have behind their back for you. The sword that they have for you. The hole that they already dig for you. Pray. Ask God to forgive your sin. Ask God to make you a better person. Do not be like those be like, do not be like them. Pray for them. If you, in your mind, if you having a conversation with someone and you see the action based on what I have informed you, pray for them. Ask God to help them to make their heart pure as snow. Like and subscribe to my channel. Blah, blah, blah.